Hello friends, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will convert this NFA into DFA. So first step is take initial state as it is. So the initial state of NFA is Q0. So the initial state of DFA will also be Q0. Now find its transition for all possible input symbols. Now here we have only two input symbols A and B. So first of all find its transition for A. When we apply A, we will get state Q2. When we apply A, it will jump to state Q2. So add this transition to this DFA. Now we have to find its transition for input symbol B. Now in this NFA, there is no transition for input symbol B. So leave it. Now we have got a new state q2 we have to find its transition for a and b so first of all find its transition for a delta q2 a equals to q2 and q3 so look at here when we apply a to q2 there are two transitions one is to state q2 and other is to state q3 right so when we apply a we will get a set of two states q2 and q3 and add this transition to dfa now find its transition for input symbol b now look at here for um, from state b we have only one transition for input symbol b from state q2 so when we apply b it will jump to state Q3 we have added this transition in this DFA now we have two new state one is Q2 Q3 and the other is Q3 now we have to find the transition of these new states also so the support uh, now let's find the transition of this state Q3 first now find its transition for input symbol A. When we apply A, right, look at here. On reading A, automata will jump from Q3 to Q0. So there is only one transition for input symbol A. Now add this transition in this DFA. Now I have added this transition. For input symbol B, there is no transition in NFA from state Q3. So leave it here. Now we have a only one state which is left q2 and q3 now we have to find out its transition first of all we find its transition for input symbol a q2 q3 a. so how we find transition for a set of states apply this input symbol individually to each state and take the union of output sets Right. So when we apply A to Q2, it will jump to either to Q2 or to Q3. So the output of this transition function will be a set of states having Q2 and Q3. Now it takes its unions with Q3A. When we apply A to Q3, it will jump to Q0. Right. So the output of this transition function would be a set having only Q0. Now take union of these two sets. It would be Q0, Q2 and Q3. So add this transition here. On A it will jump to Q0, Q2 and Q3. Right. Now we have to find 
the transition of this state q2 q3 for input symbol p when we apply b what happens look at here q2 q3 b we have to apply this b individually to each state of the set so delta q2 b union delta q3 b so when we apply b to q2 when we apply b to q2 it will transit to state q3 from q2 state we have only one transition for input symbol b and from uh, state q3 there is no transition for input symbol p so the here the output of transition function will be a phi that is null set when we take union of both sets when we take union of these both sets result would be q3 so add this transition here when we apply b to q2 q3 machine would jump to this state having only one state q3 Right. Now we have to find out the transition for this new state Q0, Q2 and Q3. First of all we will find its transition for input symbol A. Right. What we have to do here? We have to apply A individually to the each state of the set. So delta Q0 A. Delta Q2 A. Right. When we apply A to Q0, there are two transitions and there is only one transition that is to state Q2. When we apply A to Q2, there are two transitions. One is to Q2 and other is to Q3. When we apply A to Q3, it will transit to state Q0. Right. Now take union of all these three sets. It will be Q0, Q2 and Q3. Now add this transition to TFA. So when we apply A, the machine will remain in its state. Q0, Q2 and Q3. Right. Now apply input symbol B to this state. Q0, Q2 and Q3. Right. Again we have to apply this symbol individually to each state. Right. Now find the transition of a state B, Q0 for input symbol B. Now here there is no transition from a state Q0 for input symbol B. Now for a state Q3 also there is no transition for input symbol B. For Q2 if we apply B there is one transition that is to state Q3 so it will be phi union Q3 union phi and when we take union of all these three sets the result would be Q3 right so when we apply B to this state 
it will jump to Q3. All right. Now we have converted this NFA into DFA. But one thing is left. We have to determine what would be the final states of this DFA. Now, find the states of DFA which contains the final state of NFA. Now look at this state Q0. It doesn't contain the final state of NFA. Q2, yes. This state contains the final state Q2 of NFA. So make it final state. Q2, Q3. This also contain final states of NFA. So make it also final state of DFA. Q3. This state. This also contains the final state of NFA. So this will also be. Now look at this state this also contains the final states of NFA that is Q2 and Q3 so this will also be the final state of DFA so we have converted this NFA into DFA thank you very much